So if you can fire in the morning and you're watching Super Mario Video Show, you know we can show the ultimate seven course calls and so on. This video brings us to the final course of our meal, dessert. We started with chocolate in a sweet tour in part one. Now let's conclude with some high sugar rest dessert, cooking cake pies. While we're munching, let's take a look at the high sugar rest equivalent of the meal from Supervisor. It's really great with these features that will power your use of the system. How about this? Let's do it again. Did you know the system has hidden secrets for you to uncover? Here, we are looking at a user queue view. By default, Interaction Supervisor hides disconnected interactions. Occasionally, it might be useful to see these recently disconnected interactions. For example, you might be looking for a call ID for a just completed call. To see these hidden interactions, select the appropriate queue and from the queue menu, uncheck Hide Disconnected Interactions. The details for the interaction will now be displayed. Keep in mind that these are only available for a couple of minutes until the interaction is deallocated in the system. In some cases, it may be useful to display additional information about interactions in the system. This is done by creating custom columns that are tied to specific interaction attributes. To create a custom column, Right-click in the column headers of a queue view. Select Columns. Click Custom Columns and click Add. Enter a display name for the column, the interaction attribute name, the type of attribute, and click OK. Your system administrator can help you with this. And again, there is help available to provide more information about this feature. There are a number of command line parameters that can be added to customize how Interaction Supervisor starts. These may be useful for someone managing multiple IC systems or to do something as simple as remove the splash screen. To add a command line parameter, right-click on the shortcut, click Properties, and add the appropriate parameters to the target field. You can find a discussion of these parameters in the online help. That's it for the day. Thanks so much for participating in our seven course call center meeting and the Interaction Supervisor video series. If you would like more information on the Interaction Department, be sure to check out our Did You Know video series. You can find more information at our website, www.compad.com. Thanks for watching.